Hariyam students, welcome back to our new session. Hope you are staying safe and healthy at your home and enjoying your holidays. And I am your new English teacher. Hope you all knew me very well. So now let's start our English literature which is entitled as Honey Suckle. Okay, the first lesson of this English literature is Who did Patrick's homework? Hope you will understand my teaching and you will follow it. Before starting watching this video, first read the textbook and then start listening to the video so that you can understand the lesson easily. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about a student by name Patrick and how he does his homework. All these things we are going to discuss in this Prospart children. So before getting into Prospart, I would like to ask you few questions here. Yeah, the first question is, do you like homework? Yeah, children just answer me whether do you like homework or not? Yeah, I know the answer. Most of the children, they say, that, no, mom, we don't like homework and we get bored and we get annoyed even sometimes. Yeah, am I right? Yeah, I see here even Patrick is thinking how to do homework and all the things, isn't it? So the next question here comes for you is, how do you do homework? This is the main question, am I right? Yeah, how to do homework? Sometimes we can do it on ourselves, but sometimes we definitely need help from parents or friends or neighbor. Sometimes mobile also, na? am I right? Yeah, see how Patrick here is thinking how to do homework. That's a big question to him just like you. Am I right? You might be doing, you might be thinking in the same way how to do homework just like Patrick. Am I right? Yeah. So now the next question is, do you do it yourself or do you take help from others? How do you do it? Do you just analyze yourselves and what homework you usually have? Like what kind of a homework you usually have? Either it is a writing work or reading work or some project work or which kind of homework do you love to do it and which kind of homework you don't love to do it. So in this way, homework itself is a big task to us. Am I right? It is a big task to all of us, especially to you. So now, as it is a big task to you, it is the same to Patrick also. So now let's see how Patrick is going to do homework and how he is going to handle it. In this prose part, who did Patrick's homework? Before getting into the lesson, let us know about the author of the lesson. Here the author of the lesson is Carol Murray. And here you can see the picture of the author here. She is the writer. And regarding her, if you would like to discuss here, she was an American educator, a writer, and as well as advocate for children's library. That means she's not only writer, she was also an educator and as well as advocate and she was born on July 12, 1871 in Lima in United States. And regarding her works, there are many um, famous works of her and some of them are My Roads to Childhood uh, which was written in 1920 and Three Walls you know, this book she had written in two volumes, volume 1 and volume 2. So this is the one of the most famous uh, work of her. And the next one is Crossroads to Childhood. And these are the few important works of our author. And she was even twice awarded with the award, the Doctor of Letters from the University of Maine. 
So this is about our author Carol Mori. Hope you have followed it. Yeah, coming to our prose part, who did Patrick's homework? Let us start our lesson. And children, before starting, have your textbooks with you so that you can easily understand the lesson. So in this story, we have a boy by name Patrick who never did homework. See here, Patrick never did he his homework and always he said too boring that is what he used to say that means he never likes to do his homework and all the time he used to play hockey see here hockey basketball or nintendo instead so children here you know the game hockey what is a uh, hockey and what is basketball because we do have a basketball court in our school so you are familiar with these two games hockey and uh, basketball and the other is nintendo so what is nintendo nintendo is a video game a kind of a video game in the systems or the mobiles so here patrick he never likes to do his homework and he always used to play either hockey or basketball or nintendos just he used to spend his time in playing and he never liked to do homework okay and here and always his teachers told him patrick do your homework or you won't learn a thing that is what every time the teacher says that until and unless you do your homework you can't learn a single thing so in the same way even patrick's teachers advised him patrick do your homework or else you won't learn that means you cannot learn anything in this way the teachers used to advise patrick to have continuous rapport with the studies by doing homework and it's true sometimes he feel like an ignoramus but what could he do he hated homework so sometimes as teachers said he never likes to do homework but uh, they, there was a he was like no uh, kind of an ignoramus ignoramus in the sense see here i have given you the meaning ignorant ignorant person who lacks education that means the students who uh, doesn't show much interest towards study so he was sometimes seen to be like an ignorance ignoramus the ignorant person who don't like studies because the only problem with him is he always hated homework he don't want to do homework see in the picture here the parents are telling and the teacher is telling but the boy never does and they're saying that you are a bad boy because definitely if you don't do homework parents or the teachers they do they say the same thing is it so you also should do your homework regularly but not like patrick isn't it so once again i'm repeating it children so patrick he never did homework and all the time he played hockey basketball and nintendo but he uh, his parents and teachers said him that if he doesn't do any homework he can't learn anything but he was an ignoramus student that he doesn't like homework at all then suddenly one day he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away so just when he was uh, in the situation of not doing homework that he doesn't like to do homework suddenly he had seen one day his cat was playing with a small little doll here small little doll and uh, patrick went there and he grabbed that doll from cat and to his surprise it wasn't doll 
so it was not a doll the doll which he took it from cat was not a doll in real so what is it it was not a doll a doll but a man of the tiniest size a small human being so here you have you will be having a doubt small human being in the sense how do they be like so have you seen the lilliputs hope you have seen it isn't it so here uh, this doll is also like a for man a man of a tiny size like a lilliput see here i have given him i have i have given the picture here if you see man of a tiniest size so he had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches so what do you mean by breeches here breeches is nothing but it's a kind of a short trousers or breeches which we wear at home and he had a high tall hat see you can see that hat in the picture here he was wearing a breeches and as well as the hat and he just looked like a witch which in the sense you know the um man or a woman which is uh, with uh, some magical powers so he looked like that and he held who is he here he is none other than but the little man so the little man held save me save me don't give me back to that cat i will grant you a wish i promise you that that is what this uh, small little man was shouting what is he saying save me save me please don't give me back to the little cat please save me i will grant you a wish whatever you would for, would like to have i'm promising you the little man was shouting why is he shouting here he is shouting because the cat was playing and it is trying to hurt the little man if the boy if he won't help the little man here the little man may die isn't it that's why as soon as patrick took the little man into his hand he started shouting what did he say help me save me save me please don't give me to that cat and i will grant you a wish whatever you want you ask me i will grant and i am giving you a promise that is what here the elf said see you can see here patrick he had seen the cat and the little man here cat was playing with the little man and suddenly he went there patrick went there and he took the little man into his hand and the little man shouted please save me i will grant you a wish okay hope you have understood children patrick he couldn't believe how lucky he was children you just tell me when the little man was in trouble and when he was asking to say how could a patrick become very lucky am i right just think for a while why is uh, patrick lucky with here because here was the answer to all his problems what was the problem of a patrick here yeah the problem is to do homework isn't it so here is the answer for that problem of doing homework what is the pr problem here homework that is the most toughest work for this patrick am i right so he don't want to do homework that's why he had he saying that yeah how lucky i am okay so let's see what is he doing going to do it 
so he said only if you do all my homework see the wish of patrick here only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester that is 35 days if you do good enough job i could even get a's that was the wish of patrick so if you do my homework i will save you from the cat that is what is said by patrick to the little man here to the little man the poor man who was about to die just asked patrick to save his life please save me don't leave me to cat because cat may eat me away so please save me and i will grant you any wish whatever you wish to and i am promising you that that is what is said by the little man and immediately what patrick did is you know immediately patrick got an idea i yeah, am very lucky person here and i have got the solution for all my problems and by thinking that he said that you have to see here pat no, the little man you have to do all my homework see patrick is imagining the little man with the books okay so you have to do all my homework till the end of semester semester lesson till the end of the exams that is more 35 days are there to end the semester so the rest of the days till the end of the semester you should do my homework if you do good enough i will even get a a in the sense a grade a grade that was the wish of patrick okay what did patrick wish if the little man does his homework till the end of his semester that is for 35 days he is going to save the little man this was the wish of by listening to the wish of the patrick the little man's face wrinkled like the dish cloth thrown in the hamper it is the that is a really a disastrous thing for the little man so immediately his face got wrinkled wrinkled in the sense the a kind of a foldings on the face on the forehead on the cheeks you get it especially when you are angry or annoyed of something and when you don't like just you put your face like this now mm, am i right so in the same way here the little man's face was wrinkled as if like a dish cloth dish cloth which is thrown in the hamper so let us see what is a dish cloth here dish cloth is a cloth used for washing dishes just for cleaning the dishes we use some cloths no it is just looking like that cloth that is also not just like cloth cloth which is thrown in the hamper hamper is a basket with the lid just like a when cloth is thrown in the basket how does it look in the same way here the little man's face is being seen so he became so moody and dull okay he kicked his legs and doubled his fist and he grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips oh am i cursed but i will do it so here by listening that his face got wrinkled and he kicked his legs and doubled his face just kicked his legs and lot of it when you get lot of angry or when you get lot of irritation how do you behave just you will throw the things here and there and you will try to show all the anger in the same way here the little man he kicked his uh, legs and doubled his fist in sense he got rose out of his energy and just he pursed his lips see here i have given you grimace the scowl the pursed his lips in the sense his face had all these expressions showing disgust 
anger and disapproval that means he don't want to do it he is totally angry and he he doesn't like to do it but what to do he has to do it because now he is in trouble moreover he had given a promise am i right so he was saying to himself oh am i cursed is it a curse to me or what but i will do it what did the little man say i will do it because he has to be saved from the cat and moreover he had given a promise to the patrick that if he saves from cat definitely he will obey his promise that he will give him a wish and true to his word the little elf began to do patrick's homework that means as per the words of him like as he had granted a wish to patrick the little elf elf in the sense here the little man so here you can see the little man doing homework of patrick so the little elf began to do patrick's homework except there was one glitch what do you mean by glitch it's a kind of a fault in a machine that prevents it from working properly here the glitch in the sense as elf is not a machine he didn't know he don't know anything much about the human history isn't it he can't do all the homework because if you want to do homework you should first read the lessons isn't it so in that way there was some problem glitch in the sense there was some problem which is preventing that is which is stopping elf to do homework let us see what is that so the elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help help me help me he would say and patrick would have to help in whatever way so whenever patrick was sorry whenever elf was doing homework he always uh, he himself he couldn't do homework he couldn't he didn't always know what to do so he, really whatever teacher says the student should do it here yeah, elf is not a student am i right then how do he know what to do and how to do homework so he as he couldn't know what to do and how to do the homework he always used to ask patrick help me help me so if you say what to do i will do your homework so without that i can't do this were the words said by uh, uh, elf here and patrick all the time used to help our little elf in whatever way whatever this little man the elf asked patrick used to get that and used to help elf to do homework i don't know this word the elf squeaked while reading patrick's homework so when patrick's homework when this elf was reading patrick's homework he just squeaked squeaked in the sense just shouted that i don't know this word that means i don't know the meaning of this word what is the meaning of this word in this way he used to ask and get me a dictionary get me a dictionary no what's even better look up this word and sound it out by each letter so when this um, elf when he didn't understand the meaning of certain word he used to call patrick and ask no i couldn't understand the word of this, the meaning of this word just go and get the dictionary and i don't know how to look into the dictionary and find so you just look into the dictionary and find the word and tell me the meaning and spell it pronounce it you just pronounce the word and you tell me the spelling of that word then i will do the homework in this way patrick was uh, sorry elf asked patrick to help him to do in his homework hope you have understood children just once again i'll just uh, uh, recall it so as per the words of a elf when he had given the promise as per the words he started doing homework but he didn't he couldn't do homework because everything was new and whenever he gets a doubt he used to call patrick and 
ask him to help even patrick was trying to help elf in all the way and even if if uh, elf couldn't understand the meaning of single word he used to call patrick and ask him to look into the dictionary you just find the word and read the word and tell me the meaning spell it in this way elf asked patrick to read the words and tell him the meanings in this way elf was doing homework when both of them patrick and elf were doing homework together just uh, in the remaining subjects it was well and good both of them were coordinating and elf is doing patrick's homework but coming to maths it was really tough that he was totally out of luck who was out of luck patrick was out of luck because remaining all the subjects elf could able to do it but maths elf couldn't do it what are time time tables the elf sh uh, shriek that means what are these tables and we elves never need that and addition subtraction divisions fractions what are all these things we elves never had all these things so i don't know how can i do this homework in this way elf used to ask so in that way patrick was totally out of luck so here elf he don't know tables he don't know additions and he don't know subtractions divisions also and even fractions so here sit down beside me you simply must guide me elves know nothing of human history to them it's a mystery so the little elf already a shouter just got louder go to the library i need books more and more books and you can help me read them too so as we elves we don't know how to do this additions subtractions and even divisions and as well as fractions but there is no problem not not to worry you just sit beside me elf is asking patrick to sit beside him and you just simply guide me by sitting by my by sitting by side of me you just guide me and i will do it else because we else we know nothing about human history we don't know anything about history sorry we don't know anything about human history like what do you do how do you do because it is totally a mystery to us but if you help me i will do it so the little elf he just ordered a uh, patrick you just go to the library and get more books if you read books and you if you help me i can help you to read them too so if you read and tell me i will do my homework and in that way i can fulfill my promise and even your work will be done in this way elf asked patrick to help him especially in math subject because the elves they don't know this kind of a sorry addition subtraction divisions and fractions and totally human history was a mystery to elves so patrick was advised to go to the library and get all the books sit beside him and guide him how to do what to do and when to do so that elf will be doing all the homeworks of patrick hope children you have understood this part try to follow this video with the textbook dear children hope you have understood this first part of the first lesson who did patrick's homework okay read the lesson underline the new words and find out the meanings of the new words with the dictionary and after finishing the next part also we will try to give you class work and you have to write it in your class works okay and here is a question for you you have to write a short paragraph 
on this topic by your own so if you find such kind of an elf at your home what do you do i'm repeating my question here if you find an elf like elf in the sense here the little man who gives whatever you ask who grants you a wish if you find such kind of a little man at your home what will you do it what will you do with that with him what wish you will ask how will you take the help of the little man so try to write a short paragraph about it hari om thank you